Hey, Servet. Oh, I'm I'm hearing a breaking of the computer. I hope that it's I hope that it's my, not my connection. Are, are you still there, Servet? Yes. How about now? Okay. Yeah. Better. Better. Okay. Uh, yeah. You know. Servet, I moved on the weekend, so I hope my connection's okay. Did, did you notice any problems last class? No, no, your connection is quite good. You know, when you just open, uh, enter the class, the yeah. chat is loading. It takes a while. Why? During this time, so you, people, teachers cannot hear me ah, okay. clearly. Okay. It's not your, it's, it's my problem. It's, ah. it's my fault. All right, all right. Connection, it's fault. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. No worries. Uh, hey, Sakutara. Hi, Danyan. Hey, hey. How are you? Good. Hey, you missed you missed the last class. Yes, I missed. Uh, I missed uh, class about Vietnam. I don't know you, Chen Tam. I don't. You know what? I didn't know. I, I was telling Liliana. I didn't know I changed time, but in in Mexico, the time changed one hour. Oh, so for me, for me, nothing changed, but for you, it changed. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I was. I opened uh, my computer, but I, I and I clicked uh, calling go space. I realized I missed uh, your class. Ah, okay, okay. Well, there you go. You, you can watch. You can watch the 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 video if you're interested. Uh, okay. But I know you know about Vietnam, but it was a good class. We talked about history. <coughs> yes. Yeah. There you go. Cool. Hey, how was your weekend, Sakritara? Uh, it's good. Um, just a, uh, it's, uh, I um, went visiting with my friend. Oh, nice. Uh, yes. In, in Hanoi? Yes, in... Um, so S uh, okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Well, I'm glad you had a good weekend. Good to hear that. Nice. How about you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm starting to feel better. But you know, Sakutara, it's making me a little bit angry. You know, I, I've been, I've had a cold now for more than a week. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, and and I've been trying everything. I'm drinking tea. I'm taking medicines. I'm doing this and that, and I still my my lungs, you know, they're still a little bit bad. So uh, no. I think you should come. Uh, you should come uh, here in Vietnam. I think the weather is good for health. Ah, is that okay? Okay, <laughs> got it. I need to go to Vietnam. A change of scenery. <laughs> cool. Hey Slim. Hi. Hey, hey back. welcome back. Yeah, it's great to be here. <laughs> it's a beginner class. <laughs> it's what? A beginner class. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for the last time uh, about um, the, I'm I'm do I'm apologize for that. Uh, last, oh no, uh, don't worry. Okay. Don't worry about it, Slim. I understand. You just want to come to class. I get it. Yes, <laughs> it's um, my chance to end. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I understand when you guys try to come to all the classes. It's I, uh, I just I, and I know other teachers. Other teachers say it's okay. Anybody can come to any of their classes. But um, okay. I, I think it's important to give the beginners a chance and the and the advanced a chance. And yes, this of way. course. Yeah, of course. I'm one hundred percent with you. Cool. Um, you don't learn something in beginner classes. Usually, I sometimes watch a beginner class, but just five minutes. I look, I look at the screen. If there is any like something that I don't know any words or you know, I take notes. Just a few minutes, and I go do something else. So you waste yeah. your time when you join beginner classes. Do reading some, do something else. It's more useful, I think. It's true, yeah. If you want to, if you want to study the English, like you said, Sakutara, or sorry, like you said, Sarvet, it, it's good to maybe watch from the outside at the beginning to see what it's about, and maybe yeah, 
take some notes on very basic things that you might have forgot. But there's not much conversation um, for advanced <laughs> students. Not in, not in my beginner classes. Maybe in other teachers' beginner classes, it's it's okay. more advanced. But um, this is one thing we're trying to do actually at Colingo is make each of the levels very specific so that people know what to expect when they come in because okay. right now right now some of the advanced classes are more intermediate some of the intermediate beginner classes are more advanced so uh, I think we're going to try to do more classes and make things more specific so you know what to expect I think if it becomes like paid, you, you can say like intermediate class series, then if people pay for intermediate, they will join just intermediate classes. They won't yeah. join beginner or advanced classes. Well, Servet, honestly, I think what the idea is right now, and we're still working on things, but one of the really um, big ideas right now is to make free conversation classes. Okay. Free conversation classes, and then the paid stuff will be more for for the actual like um, vocabulary and grammar and things. So we're going to try and keep the the conversation things um, yeah. and and like history history geography classes that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. We're going to try and keep actually. Them. Actually, uh, I thought uh, that I am a beginner from the. But uh, <laughs> you give me that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, not big enough. <laughs> hey, this is an important part, uh, thing to think about, Slim. Is that maybe when you first came to Colingo, you were a beginner? Maybe. But, yeah, yeah, but Slim, you've been coming to Colingo for a long time now. Yes, uh, two months. Yeah, two months. you've been you've been practicing your English, and I know you come to a lot of classes, not just me, but I know you go to other teachers classes too right yes so I do if you get a lot of practice then um, then there you go it's going to improve your English and I think maybe maybe you started down here slim but you're you've moved up you've moved up I hope so <laughs> yeah, I hope so too uh, yeah <laughs> but, but definitely yeah. I, can hear it for sure. I remember first time when I joined like some it was Samantha's class first of all I watch your classes outside just one week, I couldn't click on join, hang out, but uh, but in one time I joined, someone was asking to begin the conversation. I thought, okay, just a beginner conversation class. It was, I lost maybe one kilo. <laughs> you just said, like, how do you say thank you in other ways? I couldn't find something. I like, thanks a lot, thanks much. Just yeah. a, a beginner class. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's it helped us usually. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a very quick process, right? We learn yes. quickly this thing, for sure. Yes, <laughs> for sure, yes. Awesome, man. Uh, hey, yeah. Yuri. Hi, Daniel. Hey, how's it going? Fine, thanks, and you, man. Good, good. Hey, how was the weekend? Uh, just fine. Uh... We had a uh, sun in the weekend here in Rio de Janeiro. Ah, okay, okay. Nice. Hey, I, I like the picture you have there. It looks like uh, you're watching the, the sun, the sunset. Yeah, it's, the picture was took in a beach near Rio de Janeiro. The name of the beach is uh, Ipanema. Ipanema. A, yeah. a very famous, a very famous beach. Yeah, because of okay. the music. Uh, girl for yeah, Ipanema. I was gonna say, isn't, isn't there a girl? There's a girl from that beach. Yeah, the music is very famous one. Every time you enter an elevator, so, you can so. hear that song. But hey, uh, Yuri, also um, Ipanema and uh, Copacabana are the two big beaches in Rio, right? Yes, they are the most famous one. For sure, for sure. Do, do you know any, any quiet beaches around Rio? Any relaxed beaches? 
Yeah, the uh, beats around <clears throat> the city of Rio de Janeiro are more quieter. And I think that the name of the beats are uh, the Barra Beach. It's ah. a very good one with cleaner water. Ah, so okay. uh, usually the tourists go to the, the famous one, but we that live here in Rio de Janeiro, we prefer to go to the beats uh, around the city. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, the, the locals always know best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Well, hey man, welcome to class. Nice to have you here. Thanks, man. All right. It's my first day in Colingo. Wow. Oh, welcome. Hello. He's frozen. He left yeah. a beautiful smile. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful smile. <laughs> As usual. Uh, Stephen, you can teach uh, Turkey. Yes, he's an expert. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Oh, he will be the, the next uh, English okay. teacher in Colingo. Uh, serve it. Who will be the next teacher? Me? You. you. Yes. <laughs> if if Daniel Watson hires me, uh, try to convince him. Yeah. <laughs> no, we, we we have new changes in in Colingo. Yeah, mm. I can give him some like a few bucks as a bribe. Maybe he will accept. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I really I really don't understand. Uh, Daniel only only teaches uh, less classes than now. Yeah, it's bad. Uh, yes. No, I don't know what happened. <laughs> By the way, if you are outside, don't join. Teacher yes. has gone and he will come back soon. Don't take teacher's place, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Usual announcement. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes. it's, it's not good. I think it's not in certain ways not good for us. Yeah. Uh, we have a rhythm with him, so. I Welcome know. back, Daniel. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I was just hanging out in the lobby there with, with the lobby. lobby. <laughs> <laughs> your so, ears, are your ears hot? My ears are hot, yeah. <laughs> What's happening? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, no, uh, you know what? Uh, everything just crashed. G Google Chrome. Just crashed on me. Maybe you, you maybe you have uh, so much uh, memory uh, eaten by uh, the process of uh, Google Chrome. Uh, maybe you you know what? Too slim. My computer is just. If you look at the screen, it's a mess. I have so many things from teaching. I have all these files open everywhere. I need try to, to try to use a shortcut from the screen. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a good uh, idea. Yes. You you told me before, I think. You told me before. No. Yeah. No, uh, <laughs> no there is a, 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 it has a lot of faults in Chrome, Google Chrome. Ah, okay. Okay. Cool. Hey, hey, Juan, how are you doing? I'm fine, Daniel. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you. Hey, hey, man. You know, I um, I moved a little bit closer to you. Yeah, yeah, I know that you are in the Roma, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, good. I wasn't sure if I told you or not, but yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I was, I was, I was telling Lee in the last class. Um, it, I found out it's, it's the Korean neighborhood. Is the what? The Korean neighborhood. Ah, Korean. Ah, okay. Korean. Yeah. There, there is so much Korean food everywhere. So. Uh, the last three days, I've been eating lots of Korean food because it had been a long time. So, yeah, well, it, it must be fine because you eat it three times in a row. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> if like, it was uh, bad, here we have the. Sorry, we have a, here uh, Chinese food, but uh, honestly, uh, I don't like so much. Ah, uh, okay. You're not a big Chinese. Well, you know, Chinese food has a little bit more oil. It, but Korean food's very um, 
it, it's very healthy. That's it. You know, less oil. Okay. Yeah. And, but it can be spicy too. Peter wrote kimchi everywhere. Yeah, kimchi is pretty spicy, right? Like a, a hot pickled cabbage. Okay. Yeah, I, I have to try. Okay. To yeah. There you go. Okay. <laughs> cool. Hey, Juan, how was your weekend? Oh, it was a normal one. He's uh, the juicing thing and doing work and you know. Yeah. Hey, we got some rain though. Oh yeah, a lot of. I imagine the in the capital is raining more than here. Yeah. Uh, because the the clouds were very dark. Yeah, you know, you could you could see that the rain was over here. Yeah. Uh, I, I, uh, in fact, I can see the lights in the night. It's amazing how the capital is illuminated. Oh yeah. Like the from the lightning. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I know it was cool. It was cool. I like yeah. the rain. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's okay. It's it, it, we are missing a lot. Oh yeah, it's crazy. And you know, uh, Juan, there's something like fifty percent less rain this year in Mexico. Yeah, they say so. So I, I don't know what to expect. Yeah. Uh, not not good for for Mexico for crops and oh, things. Oh, as you know, uh, here in Mexico, the uh, <coughs> far farmers doesn't how how do you say uh, they uh, the land or the ground is no more cultivated because yeah. they are are immigrant to the city, so many land is not cultivated. Yeah. Unless this this time with uh, no rain. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, no question. So uh, I don't know what we are gonna eat. In the yeah. Oh, well, it's a good <laughs> thing the rain. Maybe. Down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. it, Be Begonia says Spain stole all of your rain. <laughs> yes. Spain's been stealing Mexico's rain. That's what's happening. This weekend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I guess Slim, you're pretty close to Spain, so you're getting the same rain as Spain, right? What? That's why it's a uh, how to say um, it's a uh, weather of um, uh, wind from the po uh, the pole. Or yeah. From uh, yes. I know what you're saying. Yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> uh, hey, Fariza. Yes, hi, Daniel. Hey, how's it going? I'm good. <laughs> awesome. Did, did you have a good weekend? Yes. But I had my spring um, break week. Your what? Spring break. In the ah, US. cool. Cool. So yes. what did you do? Was it like, um, was it like the, the spring break in the United States? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't been in the United States. Um, I was in Abu Dhabi to see the mosque. And uh, I was on the beach, but uh, on the weekends it was raining. It was dirty raining, and it was unusual for here. Ah, yeah. really? Really? Hey, yeah. does Abu Dhabi have the, the biggest mosque? In, uh, yes, United they Europe. have Sheikh Zayed Mosque, the biggest, the uh, the most, the expensive, the most ah, okay. expensive. Lots of gold on it. Yes, ah. as usual. <laughs> here right. in yes, I know. I, know. <laughs> I have a lot of uh, gold. I don't know why, <clears throat> and it, it, it's made of white marble. And it's too expensive too, but it's very beautiful. Ah, so impressive. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> it did, looks like Taj Mahal. Ah, well. cool. Cool. Did, yeah. did you take pictures? Uh, yes, I did. Nice, nice. Very cool. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, hey, Christoph. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? Uh, I'm happy. Because Why is that? 
because spring eventually <laughs> came to us. <laughs> we have some uh, area of snow, but it's melting. Yes. It's really, so you're seeing some sun. Yes. Uh, eventually, I can see the sun because <laughs> this winter was uh, strange. Yeah. Big uh, uh, layer of uh, cloud. We couldn't see the sun. Right. Right. Uh, is is um are, are the leaves coming through? You know the little buds on the trees. No, no. It's uh, no start to growing anything. Okay. Only. Uh, uh, with uh, with a needle, <laughs> I forgot this. Uh, yeah, well, we probably call Co coniferous. Uh, co coniferous and deciduous, yeah. right? You're talking about coniferous trees. Yes. Like like spruce trees and um, yes. and uh, pine trees and things. Right? Yes, they are become green. Right. Right. Cool. Cool. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to write this down here. So deciduous, like that. So coniferous and deciduous. Yes. There you go. Cool. So the, the deciduous trees haven't started to to grow the leaves yet. Hey, Kristoff, do you know I was talking to my family, um, and they've had a really long winter in Canada too, and it snowed again on the weekend. Mm. It's awful. I, I mm. can't imagine it being uh, April and getting more mm. snow. But in his story was a uh, year when in Poland uh, no uh, summer. We haven't a summer. But right. It was 1812. Uh, <laughs> Temperature don't go over zero degrees uh, during uh, July. Unbelievable! Wow, that would be tough. <laughs> well, it's it's a good thing there's global warming for places like Poland and Canada. Otherwise, yes. you know, people would always be cold. We eventually <laughs> won a global warming. <laughs> we can we have to uh, burn more coal now. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, you have to enjoy what you want. What's that, Juan? I said that you have to enjoy what we want or we what have. Yeah, I know, yeah. You know, Juan, that's one of the reasons that there's so many Canadians who always come down to Mexico for, for holidays. <laughs> Yeah. Six months of winter is difficult. Very Did you, did you, did you ever may break a uh, spring break? We have a big rate of suicide. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. And and Sweden has a big rate of suicide too because of the cold. So Juan, what did you ask about spring break? Did you ever do it? No, come down to Mexico for spring break? Yeah. No, I never did. My God, you miss it? <laughs> no, you know, Juan, I actually went to uh, university when I was a little bit older than everybody else. So uh, yeah. when I was in university, I was the old guy. Yeah, but I, I, I think it's not a limit. <laughs> you think what? It's not a limit or it's not uh, yes. for you yeah, can go, uh, I know that they have all the, the young American kids, they come down for spring break and go get a little bit crazy, right? A lot of crazy, I think. A lot of crazy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hey, listen guys, um, today's class is a vocabulary class. So, um, you know what, I couldn't find the the material that I was supposed to do for this class. So what I did was I went and found um, some other material about kind of current events with some difficult vocabulary. So what we're going to do is we're just going to read a little bit um, 
and after the readings, I want you guys to tell me the different words that we find in these readings that you don't understand, because there is some difficult vocabulary. So I'm going to get you guys to, to tell me, hey, wait a second, what does that word mean? What does this word mean? And then we're going to see if you guys can um, make sentences using these words. Okay? So it, it might be a little bit difficult, um, but I think you guys will get it quickly. So we'll, 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 we'll practice this. So to start with, I'm <coughs> going to get you guys to do some reading. Okay? And uh, Yuri, I'm going to start with you, all right? All right. All right, man. So Yuri, can you read for us? Can you see that? Is it big enough? Yeah, it's a little blur, but I think I... Yeah, that's yeah. great. Better? Okay. Can you read for us until the word Tonga? I can try. Okay. Um, a line... Uh, a line to charge passengers by weight. 4th April 2013. Samoa Air has become the first airline in the world to base on a passenger's weight. The national carrier of the South Pacific Island nation has discarded the traditional pricing model of asking flyers to pay for a seat and instead has moved to a price per kilogram a structure. The airline flies domestically between the country's two main islands and has started international flights to American Samoa and Tonga. Perfect, okay. Um, Slim, can you continue from Tonga? Yes, it's blue. Okay. <coughs> uh, travelers pay the price of around uh, one US dollars per kilogram all on shorter routes and over four dollars on longer flyers. Someone's LCO, Chris Langton, said that the said that the new initiative would help promote health awareness in Samoa which has one of the world's highest rate of obesity. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Um, and we, we will, we're going to look at this after, guys. We're going to go through the reading. So if there's anything you don't understand, we'll come back. I continue. Pardon me, Slim? I continue. No, I'm going to get Servet to read now. So okay. Servet, can you read until um, airline? Oh. Okay. Reaction to the new pricing scheme has been mixed. A spokeswoman from the New Zealand based campaign group Flight in, not in, the obesity epidemic vehemently opposed the new fares. She said, I think that's obviously appealing. It's a sick mastation of people and really just powerful discriminating. As Salmon community leader said, he appreciated that way was key for airlines. Okay. Uh, continuing on there, Sakutara. Okay. He tells the new Zealand he does. I weigh two hundred kilograms. I would be okay to pay the fat. Provis Provided uh, is reasonable, but I don't think it's a good excuse saying that they're trying to promote healthy living. That's a name reason. Reason many it's that she and an analyst believes as a allies we follow through in charging of waste passenger picture. Wow. Okay. So what do you guys think? This is interesting, right? The idea of charging people per weight. <laughs> it's a very good idea. It's yeah, like the idea. Yeah. Yeah. Christoph it's must weigh 80 okay. kilograms. He says, great idea. Right? <laughs> it's discriminating. 
Yeah, people who weigh 200 kilograms probably don't agree with you, Christoph. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as always, it's going to be cons and pros. Right, exactly, exactly one. But interesting, right? Interesting idea. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's just go through this first part again and see if we can find any any words that we don't understand. Okay. So I think the first paragraph was a little bit easier than the second paragraph. So Samoa Air has become the first airline in the world to base fares on a passenger's weight. The national carrier of the South Pacific Airline Island Nation has discarded the traditional pricing model of asking flyers to pay for a seat and instead has moved to a price per kilogram structure. What does this mean? Discarded the traditional pricing model. Uh, discarded it is no, no longer. No way. <laughs> I think they are not in the, right. the traditional way. Exactly. Okay. You guys got, I, I heard a few people say to throw away is to discard. Get rid. Get rid of. Yeah, that's a good phrasal verb. To get rid of means to, to, to throw away. Okay. And what do we mean by traditional pricing model? Sorry, I heard you say something, Sarvet. Traditional pricing model is just the same system. You are selling just tickets. Right. The, the, the same system that we are used to, right? Yeah. The, the normal system that we expect. Okay. All right. So then it says here, the airline flies domestically. What does that mean, domestically? Inside the country. Local, inside the country. local. Yeah, exactly. Local. Good, good, good point, Fariza. Locally, inside the country. Okay. And has started international flights, which is obviously the opposite of domestic. Okay. To American Samoa and Tonga. Travelers pay a price of around US $1 per kilogram on shorter routes. What is a route? The no, no, no. bat. Yes, it's a path. It's a path. Sure. Yeah, you guys are right. The path. Okay. So we're talking about um, when we talk about routes, when we're talking about airlines, we're talking about the destination, right? Where they fly. The way. The way, exactly. Right. So I could say um, the route from, um, from Australia to Vietnam is short, okay? But the route from Vietnam to Colombia is very long, right? So when we're talking about routes, we're talking about the, the distances and, and the paths, the ways. <coughs> All right, Samoa Air CEO Chris Langton said the new initiative would help promote health awareness in Samoa, which has one of the world's highest rates of obesity. What do we mean by the new initiative? The new way of uh, passing. Idea. Yeah, good. I like that, guys. The, the, new, the new idea or the new... Um, sorry, what did you say there? The new, the, the new way of passing. The, yeah, the new idea, the new way of pricing. Can we say like groundbreaking? Sure. Uh, you know, you it's could say groundbreaking, good. but Cervet, it's a little bit different. I think you're right. I think that this is groundbreaking. But groundbreaking means this very um, amazing yes. thing that nobody has ever done before. That is groundbreaking. Okay. So we could say that this is groundbreaking but when we say the new initiative it means the new change okay the new idea the new way of pricing it's not saying it's huge um, slim slim Zayeni I think we're talking pioneer would be more like groundbreaking okay a brand new thing but the initiative the initiative would be more like the change okay? you start Exactly. A new a new start. Thank you. Thank you. So the the new idea 
the change, the, the new start, okay? This would be the initiative. Um, okay, we also have here, guys, the word obesity. What, fat. what does that mean? <coughs> Very we, fat. Overweight. Oh, overweight, yeah. yes. Very fat. So, there's two ways of looking at this, okay? So there's this idea, it means to be overweight, but generally when we think of obese, we think more of very fat, okay? Right. Body person. Very fat, somebody who's obese. And this is true in, in Samoa, and a lot, a lot of the, um, the Hawaiian islands as well, lots of, lots of the South Pacific islands, there's, there's huge rates of obesity. Yes. And like a refrigerator. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's some, there's some big people. Big people. Right. All right. So continuing on, reaction to the new pricing scheme has been mixed. Okay. So there's two ways to say this word. Some people say scheme, and some people say scheme. Okay. Scheme, scheme. Scheme. Okay. <coughs> Both ways there. Um, so the new, what do we mean when we say scheme? What is a That's scheme? Right. Procedure, procedure. A procedure, yeah. New template. A new template, yeah, I like that. Template as well. <coughs> I think it's Anything uh, else? a set of rules or plan like for uh, sure. applied like by government or officials. Right, and I like that word a lot, Servet, plan, okay, a plan. The reaction to the new pricing plan has been mixed. What does that mean? Reaction to the new pricing scheme has been mixed. <coughs> it could be mis misunderstanding. Maybe. It was different. Right, people feel different. So when we talk about reaction here, we're talking about people's opinions, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. something is agree and somebody know. Right, exactly. Thank you, Juan. Some people agree and some people don't agree with the new scheme. Like, new... like, like Christoph. Christoph is he yeah, definitely. I am pro. He is pro. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I um, was okay. sitting with that guy between me, <laughs> so it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> there, you go. there you go. So, um, a, spokesper a spokeswoman for the New Zealand-based campaign group, Fight the Obesity Epidemic, vehemently opposed the new fares. What does that mean, vehemently? Very, Does anybody know? Very strong. Very strong. Yeah. Strongly. <clears throat> you could say strongly opposes. Okay. And you'll hear this word pronounced different ways too. Often you'll hear it pronounced vehemently, vehemently, and vehemently. Okay. So it's to strongly oppose. What does this mean? The new fares. What is a fare? Fee for fares. transport. A tax. Yeah. New tickets. The, yeah, it's actually transport. sort of. It's actually the price. Fare means price. Tickets. But price for transport. Tickets. Tickets, but it's not actually the ticket itself. It's the price. Of the tickets. Okay. Can we uh, say fee for transport? Sure. Fee. Fee is the exact same as fare. Okay. Or fee. Fee, fee for transport would be the the fare. Okay. Good. That's important, though, guys. That it's important that you understand it's for transportation. Okay. So you have a fare for a bus. You have a fare for a train. You have a fare for a for an airplane when you pay money to use transport. Okay. Um, 
Okay. Also, what about this word? I, we've talked about it before in other classes. What is an epidemic? Something uh, contagious. Very common contagious, yes. Okay. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Something that's contagious and something that is spreading. Yes. Right? Contagious and spreading. <clears throat> okay? This would be an epidemic. Um, okay. How about this right here? It says, so, so this person who is fighting against it, right, she's a spokeswoman, right, so she speaks for a campaign group trying to fight the obesity epidemic, right, that's the campaign. It says that it's absolutely Hello? I think... Uh, you know, uh, he did it again. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. <laughs> he will be... Hope that we, he will be, will be back here soon. Serve it. Yes, please. <laughs> well, what is the first lesson the next uh, time of uh, Turkish? Topic or? No problem of that. What is the first class uh, coming soon? I think I gave some homework to students. They didn't do it. The next class, I think. I will watch them today. today. I don't want to go go to the next topic because if they don't understand them really, the last topics, it will be hard for them. So I am waiting for now a few days to see how many people will do the homework. Mm, okay. oh, then I will keep going with study students. You give him works. It's not a very good idea for me. <laughs> I, I, got, I know. Nobody likes homeworks, but we don't have too much classes, so you know there are five, six students in a class. I do to give enough practice to all students, we need too much time. We don't have that much time. So I have to give him some things as a homework. I, as a homework, I, I, I direct them another site. The exercises isn't, the exercises aren't something boring. It is something with pictures, with voice, you can speak, you can read, you can write. It's something professional, it's not something okay. boring, I think. At least I think so. <laughs> I don't know how they think. <laughs> anyway, I have an application in my phone that's uh, called uh, the uh, It uh, There is uh, many, many uh, Many uh, th things that help uh, for uh, uh, understanding more uh, Turkish and uh, to learn it. It's vocabulary and uh, revision and uh, many that. Hello. Hello. Where is the teacher? Not here. <laughs> <laughs> he has to Where did he go? empty his bladder. If you want to join classes, I will be a review because some of, of uh, some of the students has missed a few classes. They, some of them were on holidays. Some of them were busy because of jobs, because of yeah. times didn't match. So I may make a review, a quick review. If you want to catch up, 
with us yes. and join this review class. Yes, I won't. Uh, I will see it in. Uh, in you, group. Sh you, you share you share it in, uh, that in the group yeah. as an event. Yes, okay. Yeah, I will I see it. I hope I will see it. Are you usually available like one, two, and two hours and fifteen minutes later from now? Yes. Can everyone um, hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Can you can you hear me? No. Wow. <laughs> yes, yes, we can. It's a good no. answer. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> we can't hear you. <laughs> you speak English. No, I speak not English. <laughs> there is a video like that. <laughs> yeah. I understand. I don't understand English yet. <laughs> he says. Um. Then you have an employee, uh, Savit. Yes. You don't what? You don't worry? Why? You about said... What? I don't know. I heard like you said you don't worry about something. No, I said uh, that uh, um, you are unemployed. Because like that? Is it, uh, is it correct what... Uh, I understand that the time that you have to speak about job. Yeah. If you have a job. Yes. <laughs> okay. What are we talking about? We talking about language exchange. Are you interested? Ah, in? Where are you from, word. Mario? Greece. Sorry? Greece, Athena, Athens, yes. Oh, it's Greece. your neighborhood. <laughs> Sorry? Hi, welcome back, Daniel. Sorry, <laughs> guys, I don't know what's happening. Next teacher. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, Oops, you. again, I think. <laughs> welcome back. We can't hear you. He's gone. <laughs> he will go and come back again. No worries. He's playing. And he's back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to Mr. Watson. Wow. This twice. Yeah. Two Daniels. Two Daniels. Uh, two Daniels. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Two times good, Mr. Watson. We have two of you. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Can everyone Don't hear me? <laughs> You can go ahead and have some rest, your robotic copy. <laughs> this, this is what Kalingo is trying to work on. They're trying to make robot teachers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't so yeah, good there. there are two versions of you. <laughs> no, Maybe. You know what? I don't know what's happening. There's, I have a problem with Google+. Plus. It keeps kicking me out. Mm, yeah. Have you, have you ever tried another oh. uh, provider? Okay, now. Uh, you know, I Juan, I was using Firefox forever, and then I just started using um, Google Chrome Hello. last week. But, uh, no, but I, I mean another internet provider like uh, you know Termex, and there are a uh, Joe. Yeah. You know what I was using, Juan, when I was living in the south, I was using Cable Vision, and now I'm on um, okay. Infinity. It, it, it's, it's Where do you live now? Uh, I'm in Mexico City, Mario. Ah. Yeah. So, there you go, guys. I don't know what was happening there. But. Okay, the, the, the best important is you are here. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I'm back. So anyways, we were at this point where I wanted to say, um, so the spokeswoman said, I think that's absolutely appalling. Can anybody tell me what does that word mean, to say it's absolutely appalling? Extremely bad. Extremely bad, yeah. When something is appalling, 
It's the same as saying extremely bad. What else? What's another way? What, what's that, Krista? You feel fear about the VAT. To feel fear, not always fear. Sometimes it might also be disgust. Okay. Mm -hmm. You don't like it. You really don't like it. Okay, so we might say it's awful, awful. Something's appalling. It's it, we don't like it a lot. Okay, it's extremely bad. We think it's awful. Okay. Abominable. Pardon me, Juan. Abominable. Abominable, sure, yeah. We can say that too. Big word, big word, yeah. Terrible. So, you guys, what does she think is appalling? Uh, the oh. fact that uh, we uh, wait persons uh, for the health care to have tickets. Right, yeah. She thinks that it's awful that people who are obese have to pay these new fares. Okay, she thinks new fares are appalling. And she says, because it's a stigmatization. What does that mean? I think it's, it's, it's a stigmatization. Somebody wound that, uh, of the priest. It's uh, like less uh, uh, segregation. Okay, right? Okay. Put somebody so, in a, uh, to, to make yeah. feel them uh, very bad or unimportant. Sure, <laughs> that's true, Liliana. So, Christoph, what did you say? It's from Christian. Uh, uh, Christ has a wound on his arms and uh, no. leg, no, so no, no. this no, no. is uh, this point. So there stigma. are stigmas. Well, they do talk about stigmas, yeah, in, in, the, in the Bible, you're right, yes. there's this idea. But it, so this it, is uh, like mark somebody. I think it's different. Yeah, yeah. Well, that is, that is it, it's, it's similar in the way it's, it's explained, but it's not about religion, right? Um, but you, I understand what you're saying, Christoph. Slim, yeah. do you, what else can you say? Yeah, discrimination. Discrimination. I said mark somebody. Discrimination. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly, Christoph. This idea of, of marking someone, of discriminating against someone, okay? Okay. It comes from the word stigma, okay? Does yes. anybody know what that means when we say stigma? Yeah, it's a mark. It's a mark. Right? A stigma. It's, it's the part of a flower. It's like segregation. Uh, we can say in English segregation. Sure, it's, it's a form of segregation, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, so to stigmatize someone is to say, okay, they are different. They've been labeled. To label someone. Okay. So, and like you wrote there, Slim, she, she mentions again after. Um, it's just powerfully discriminating, right? Oh, yes. It says right there, just powerfully <clears throat> discriminating. You're right. You're right. Okay. Um, so here it says, a Samoan community leader said he appreciated that weight was key for airlines. What does that mean, to be key for airlines? Mm, main Maybe point. Uh, big deal. The ticket. Right. They when deal we with the weight. Sure. When we talk about something being key, okay, to be key means to be the main point. Okay? Yeah, it's the principle. Yeah, to be the most important thing. Okay? To be key means to be the most important thing. Okay? So yeah, they, he told the New Zealand Herald, right, and I hope everybody knows this, Herald is kind of, uh, they use it a lot for different newspapers, right? Lots of, yeah. lots of... Because uh, of that was man uh, in the past who talked to people. Right, also, yeah, you're also correct about that. We're getting, we're getting very religious here, but that is true, actually. Okay. Um... I weigh 200 kilograms. So this is what the Samoan community leader says. Okay, a leader from the Samoan community says, "I weigh 200 kilograms." That's a big person, right? Yes. 200 kilograms. That is a, that is a lot of a lot of person, right? <laughs> wow. Yeah. That, that, 
almost mm -hmm. three of me. You know, that's a yes. big person. And the, then imagine this person is sitting uh, next to you. Yeah, I know. I know, Krzysztof. It's tough. It's tough. So I understand why they're saying it. Stop discrimination. <laughs> well, this is the thing. It's, it's a real debate, isn't it? A real debate. I would be okay to pay the fare provided it's reasonable, but I don't think it's a good excuse saying that they're trying to promote healthy living. That's a lame reason. <laughs> what do we mean by lame, guys? The main point. Lame. The main Weak. point. Weak. No, not main. No. I think it means the reason doesn't convince us. Right. Terrible reason. A terrible reason, sure. You know what, guys? This is actually used. This kind of word is used a lot with, um, with teenagers in the United States, Canada, right? If they don't like something, they'll say, oh, that's so lame. Right? I think a lot of teenagers will say this to their parents. Right? Is it like banal, maybe? It's like what? Banal? Benign? Banal. Ba like this? Um, sort because of. When you say, I when think when that's you say the original usage of it, Servet, but now when we say lame, it means kind of that's no good. Okay? So it's not a good reason when we say it lame. It's become part of the English language, I think, brought by teenagers. So, for example, if if a teen, if a, let's say, your dad, you're a teenager, and your dad is listening to some music from from the '60s, and he's, yeah, that's good music, <laughs> right? Like this. And the teenager's like, oh, <clears throat> dad, your music is so lame. Okay? I mean, it's like saying it's so bad. Okay? So it's used a lot by teenagers. So when he says here, it's a lame reason, it means it's just, it's not a good one. It's not a good reason. Okay? Uh, Daniel, do you yes. traduce to the Spanish as a lamentable? Um, no, it, that's, that's yeah. different. Okay. That's from the word to lament, lament, which is a word in English as well, to lament something. And this means to, to, um, I, to, to almost to regret something, right? Yeah. To feel, to feel bad about something, right? To lament it. Okay, thank you. Moaning. Pardon me, Christoph? Uh, lament is like mourning. To like mourn. to mourn, to mourn, yeah, a little bit. Um, but when we talk about lame, it's different. Okay, it's saying that's bad. It's a bad it's thing. Like flimsy excuse. Right. It's a flimsy excuse. Sure. It's it's a lame reason, a flimsy excuse. You can say that. Okay. Many industry analysis believe other airlines will follow suit in charging overweight passengers extra. What does this mean? Industry analysts. They make uh, charts and uh, analyze them. <laughs> sure, yeah. The, the people who work for airlines, right? The industry is airline industry, okay? And it's people who, who basically do the marketing, right? Marketing for airlines. Mm, yeah. Okay? So, or marketers. Marketers for airlines. These are the industry analysts, people who are studying but airlines. Know, isn't it uh, the analysis, not analyst, analysis, the now for this analyze? Is analysts, analysts. Um, I think you could say, I'm not sure if there's a difference between analysts. Uh, an analysis <clears throat> is um, a study. Okay. It's an exam, it's a test. Okay. Yeah, analysis. somebody who looks at the statistics, but an analysis, analyst, yeah. analysis. That's a good question, actually. That's analysis is the, the person, and analysis that uh, is uh, the exam of uh, uh, how to, uh, uh, how to say it. Um, uh, the overweight passenger. 
Right, okay. exactly. So an analyst is somebody who analyzes. Okay. Okay. Some, somebody who studies it. <laughs> Okay, so here it says, many industry analysts believe other airlines will follow suit. What does it mean to follow suit? This is, this is a strange phrasal verb, to follow suit. It's like an idiom, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to blaze a trail. <laughs> like follow to blaze to a trail, roll. yeah, similar, yeah. Go to top blaze. right. So, sorry, Servan? I think it's the same as like following the template that's been created by other firms. Sure, like to follow the template, yeah. yeah. Juan? Uh, Juan? It's a copy, it's a copy of uh, someone. To copy it, yeah. 